Hey, good morning. Today's uh, January the 2nd. Had to think about it. I know it's getting close to the 1st uh, or the 2nd. So we're there Tuesday morning. Saturday. That creek, so I can hear it running from way over here. I'm going up through. I'm going to go up through here today. And see what's up in there. You know, it's not too bad. I hear the wind's not blowing. So it makes for, makes kind of peaceful out here, actually. Well, they got more ice up uh, in Springfield, which is west of us. No, east of us, rather. They got a lot of ice up there. And I've seen pictures of some of the trees that got taken down from it. So, we fared pretty good. Let me get my glove on. My fingers get cold out here. <laughs> there. Here, come back up here. Y'all, come on back. Yeah, the... Uh, we lucked out on the ice. I don't know how much we had. But I guess they had upwards of a half inch up in the city. Springfield and north of there. So... Looking through the all these readings we got, you know, the Ephesians is a is a pretty powerful book. It tells us a lot of things that we should apply to our lives. And that's what we dig in these references. These references are really really important. I think there's a lot to them. Uh, and take them for what they say, you know, what they say. You know, we don't add to them. Uh, we don't take away from them. None of that. We take them for what they say. <clears throat> yep. Get back in here. Wow. In here. <laughs> That ice has really <laughs> changed the scenery back in here, hasn't it? Yeah, it sure has. It's quite a deal. Quite a quite a winter mix. Quite a deal. Then I can set y'all up here. And this will go through this stuff that I've got put together today. And see how it comes out if it'll sit there. Stay there and I don't slide off. <laughs> There it goes. It's sliding. It don't want to stay. Come on. We'll get you put. I broke my trip one leg of my tripod doing this. There goes the other one. Not really. That was something else. There. Now if it'll stay put and we'll circle around. Yeah, it's uh it's pretty back here. It's not that cold. And I haven't heard any birds this morning. I looked around for them. Coming out of the house, there's a few there at the bird feeder. But they must be put up in the in shelters. They you go into these one of these evergreens like behind me. They get in there and, and that's where they'll stay, you know, for for the time being. And Pretty nice, but I was looking at Paul's writings here today. I've got Ephesians 5 verse 11 and these references that's tied to it. Uh, he tells us things how to, to live our lives by. You know, all through Paul's writings, there's a lot of teaching on how we should live our life. A lot of it. So, <clears throat> you know, we'll stick with that and we, and we put it to use. Put it to memory and live it, you know. Uh, so here's a reference that I've got and there's a few of them here so we'll, we'll go through this see how they come out all right and be not joint participants in the unfruitful acts of darkness yet rather be exposing them think about the unfruitful acts of darkness uh, I know the fruit of the spirit you know in Galatians is, is love joy 
peace, patience, and the like. I don't don't have them all in mind. <laughs> I mean, but you know they're there in Ephesians chapter six. Uh, so those are of the spirit, and they're not of the darkness. So look up what is the darkness. The, the fruit, unfruitful acts of darkness is not of the light, is it? <clears throat> Alleging themselves to be wise, they are made stupid. And they change the glory of the incorruptible God into the likeness of an image of a corruptible human being and flying creatures and quadrupeds and reptiles. Wherefore, God gives them over in the lust of their hearts to the uncleanliness of dishonoring their bodies among themselves. Those who alter the truth of God into the lie and are venerated and offer divine service to the creature rather than the creator who is blessed for the eons. Therefore, God gives them over to dishonorable passions for their females besides alter the natural use into that which is besides nature. Likewise, also the males, besides leaving the natural use of the female, were inflamed in their cravings for one another, males with males, affecting indecency, and getting back in themselves the retribution of their deception, which must be. <clears throat> and according as they do not test God, to have them in recognition, God gives them over to a disqualified mind to do that which is not befitting, filled with all injustice, wickedness, evil, greed, distended with envy, murder, strife, guile, depravity, whisperers, fill of fires, detesters of God, outragers, proud, austatious, inventors of evil things, Stubborn through parents, unintelligent, perfidious, without natural affections, impossible, implacable, unmerciful. Those who recognizing the just stature of God, the just statute of God, that those committing such things are deserving of death, not only are doing them, but are endorsing also those who are committing them. What fruit, then, had you then, of which you are now ashamed, for, indeed, the consummation of those things is death? The night progresses, yet the day is near. We, then, should be putting off the acts of darkness, yet should be putting on the implements of light. Now, I am entreating you, brethren, to be noting those who are making dissensions and snares, beside the teaching which you learned, and avoid them. I write to you in the epistle not to be commingling with paramours, and undoubtedly it is not as to the paramours of this world, or the greedy and extortionate, or idolaters, else consequently you ought to come out of the world. Yet now I write to you not to be commingling with anyone named a brother, if he should be a paramour, or greedy, or an idolater, or a reviler, or a drunkard, or an extortioner, with such one you are not even to be eating. But that, that which the nations are sacrificing, they are sacrificing to demons, and not to God. Now I do not want you to become participants with the demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot be partaking of the table of the Lord and the table of demons. Do not become diversely yoked with unbelievers. For what partnership have righteousness and lawlessness? Or what communion has light with darkness? Now what agreement has Christ with Belian? Or what part a believer with an unbeliever? Or what concurrence has a temple of God with idols? For you are a temple of the living God. According as God said that I would be making my home and will be walking in them and I will be their God and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out of their midst. Be severed 
the Lord is saying, and touch not the unclean, and I will admit you, and I will be a father to you, and you shall be sons and daughters to me, says the Lord Almighty. Do not then become joint partaker with them, for you were once darkness, yet now you are light in the Lord. We are charging you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to be putting yourselves away from every brother who is walking disorderly, and not in accord with the, with the traditions which they accepted from us. If anyone is not obeying our word through this apostle, let it be a sign to you as to this man, not to be commingled with him, that he may be abashed. And do not deem him as an enemy, but abash him as a brother. Altercations of men of a de descended mind and depraved of the truth, and fearing that devoutness is capital. Fond of their own gratifications, rather than fond of God, having a form of devoutness, yet de denying its power. These also shun. For he who is sowing for his own flesh, from the flesh shall be reaping corruption. Yet he who, he who is sowing for the Spirit, from the Spirit shall be reaping life Ionian. To put off from you, as regards your former behavior, the old humanity which is corrupted in accord with its seductive desires. For those who are drawing, or those who are drowsing, are drowsing at night, and those who are drunk are drunk at night. Those who are sinning be exposing in the sight of all that the rest also may have fear. Herald the word, stand by it. Opportunely, inopportunely, expose, rebuke, entreat with all patience and teaching. Speak of these things and entreat and expose with every injunction. And that is the references <clears throat> to Ephesians 5, verse 11. And we won't add anything more to that. That is God's word as it's wrote, as it was spoke to Paul from the risen Christ. He's the one that inspires this, you know. So I think it's we need to stick with that and listen to it. And apply it to our lives, you know. We're not of the dark anymore, are we? We're not of the dark. We was there once. <clears throat> Not anymore. We are a new creation, aren't we? How awesome is that? To be a new creation in Christ. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. It's pretty out here. It's not cold. We're supposed to got some more snow. We'll see if it comes in today. But the ground's warm enough that it won't stick. Uh, there's ice on the grass, but as the sun came out yesterday, it's beautiful. It glistened really nice. But anyway, it's time to go get the day started, ain't it? It's going to be a beautiful day. <laughs> it's nice. So let's go see what God's got, shall we? And uh, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Hope you have a great day. See you then.